All right, let's start first by defining uh, the areas with which we need to work. So we'll start by dragging a guideline, set it up to create the count and necessary for me to define the rulers to zero, zero on the sides of the guideline. And that should give me the guideline which will define the shape of the T that I want. So I'll set it up to around 4 inches there. Width wise or length wise, I'll go up to around 6 inches. Alright, so that should give me a decent rectangular shape. And now, before I do anything, I'll put snap to guideline and then create my T. Now I don't want to snap any more, so I'll snap it okay now once this is done convert the rectangle because it is very important for us to add nodes then I shall take the shape tool before I take the shape tool yeah come back and add more guidelines well, this is for people who have a problem with proportion more guidelines to define areas where I would start like to have uh, for my armhole uh, neckline etc 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 when that is done select back the rectangle add nodes in the selected areas and that is done move the nodes reshape it to kind of define slopes that I require for my shoulder. At the same time now I'm, I'm moving this inside. Now this is very very important because this gives you the slant uh, that gives you a very good armhole shape. Now I, I think uh, I don't like the, the neck or the armhole, I mean the, the neckline to be so wide so I will come inside, shape my nodes, yeah, that, that should give me a kind of a good uh, view for my uh, T. Now convert this to curve, drag this down exactly by holding it in the middle, and then one trick that I do to kind of get a good proportion is either you drag this and keep this exactly the uh, alignment of the guide, which gives you a nice view, you know, and then let's move on to the armhole same way, convert to curve, convert to curve, drag this down, and remember to keep your armhole shape like a nice L, in a curved L, that will give you a nice armhole shape, when that is done, come back to my freehand tool, and start drawing the shape of the T. That's, that's a decent shape to have. You could always uh, reshape it to the kind of defined shape that you want. I think that's, that's kind of good enough. Uh, that gives me a decent shape. Uh, the slant is not so much. This is perfect. Uh, all right, copy, paste it, mirror it, move it across to the other side, reshape an area that you think is next is required, probably add a node and then just kind of reshape it, it doesn't matter, uh, because of the fact that I could always bring this up above the other two, uh, which is the newly formed object, so that I press shift and page up, and that makes it up, if you want to check, uh, add a color, and that shows you that uh, it's up, <coughs> now let's zoom in to uh, neckline make another rectangle there a very easy way to do this convert the curves take the shape tool move in move in uh, convert this line to a curve drag down reshape this to give you the arch that you think works for you and that you need to make any more alterations in it. Ideally, just make it a little bigger than uh, the, uh, the 
which shape is the length drag this down to make it kind of look parallel add a node it helps you to reshape it better and that's it reshape this it doesn't have to be so steep and uh, delete that face and then just just kind of uh, shape it uh, to the kind of uh, shape that you require to give a nice uh, O-neck shape. Now, you always require the back to show of what you do. So, Control C, Control V, make one more uh, ribbing, and then just drag this up, and drag this up, delete the node, then reshape. Yeah, that that should suffice to give you a uh, good shape. You can just make few alterations to that and then bring the first one that you created as an exit let's say you the page up and bring it up so that gives you a decent t shape a t shape uh, if you fill in the color you can see that it's 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 kind of good in a lot of ways and obviously to create the back make another small tweak give it a color shift face down that should bring it to the back and that's a good tweak for you.